imagine that you guys have double clicked on the word icon on your computer to load up Microsoft Word. Boom, 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 boom. Well, you can write your little story about, I don't know, whatever you want. What you've just done there is executed this program and created a process. Now, in computers, as you know, instructions are processed all the time and are processed by the CPU. And as you know, with a CPU, it follows a cycle, fetch, decode, execute. And as you know, if something else wants the CPU's attention, let's imagine that a really important program needs to run for about 20 seconds there'll be what's called an interrupt. Now, how is this all managed? How is the CPU? So imagine that we've got literally a waiting line to see a doctor and you have patients turning up. How does this doctor's surgery manage each patient Simple, resource management. So our doctor surgery is going to use resource management. So let's have a little talk about that. There are two different ways which resource management will take place. Number one, through a scheduling. This person here is going to go first because he booked an appointment three weeks ago. These two haven't booked an appointment yet, so he gets to go to the front of the line. So that is called scheduling of processes, where it's planned in advance. The second is what's called resolution of conflict. So let's imagine that both these two people here, this person and this person, want to see the doctor, which is our resource. So in the CPU, it'll be our resource, like a printer. Imagine two different instructions want to use a printer. Or in this case, two people want to see the doctor. The operating system. This dude here will do conflict management. They'll make a decision peacefully about which person will get to see the doctor first or in computer science terms, which instruction gets to use the resource first, like the printer. And what that does, it allows our computers to run at optimum, that means best, efficiency. smoothly, quickly, happily. We all live happily ever after.